Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Today it is Happy Mail and a little mini haul-ish thing. Uh, this part of the mini haul is not for me. I've actually got to take this to the post office today and get it sent off because uh, there are a bunch of games and a bunch of giveaways over at Lisa Ladybird Loves this week and I will link her up there somewhere um, for her huge like six day crazy live thing and one of the prizes needs to get shipped out by me. A bunch of us donated prizes. So a lot of fun there. That'll happen later today. Just saying. Uh, gonna start off with the things that I've purchased because there's just been little bits and pieces and things throughout the week. Because, you know, after Christmas is a thing, I ended up with a Christmas bag. And I ended up with a Christmas bag because I went to Pop Shelf. And they ran out of bags. So this is a brand new open store. They've just been open for a week. A lot of their shelves are still bare. Things are having a hard time coming in. Pop Shelf is a store that's actually owned by Dollar General. And you'll see some of the same stuff there, but you see a lot of different stuff. They do have yarn there. I did not buy any this time. Um, they have some of that DIY yarn by Lion Brand that's a dollar a ball and very colorful. Looks like it's more for crafty use. Didn't need any, so I didn't buy any. I know, right? That, that's a great concept. They also had some Woolies Thick and Quick that I already have some of and some other that were similar, but they were more expensive there than I found them at Ollie's. They were five bucks a skein. Still cheaper than the regular retail, but I didn't need them, so I left them be. However, I got some other things. Let me just pull the stuff out of this little bag. Yeah, I was shopping and it's like, oh, they're out of bags. And it's mostly self-check there. So I was like, well, my friend that was with me, I'm like, go, go run over there and get me one of those the Christmas bags for 50 cents a piece. So I'll save it. It's all good. I thought this was hilarious. So I bought it. It's one of those uh, callous, scrapey doohickeys like for pedicures. I petty the fool. <laughs> Y'all 80s kids will know what I mean when I say this. I petty the fool. Okay, maybe it's just me. I know I'm a goofball, but I absolutely had to have that. Um, got some cool stickers. Look at those. Little glittery do nots. I know I'm a sucker for stickers, right? Look at these. Those are kind of cool. Very reflective. Cute little fast food things, including a cupcake. And you know I had to have this. Yes, it is the Grogu. It is the Baby Yoda. Not really Baby Yoda, it's Grogu, but more commonly known as Baby Yoda. Yes. And I've had these before. And all these, by the way, were a buck a piece. Um, but I had to get some more because they are just so stinking cute. And I love putting them in cards and on letters and stuff. And extra bold. Maybe I'll stop writing just in purple. Anybody who's received a card from me knows it's probably written out in purple. There are some other colors in here, so we'll see what happens. And I got these. Not for my hair, but for yarn balls. Because when you wind up a yarn ball and then you kind of put it in a bag and then it ends up going bleh all over the place, you can stop the bleh part by putting this around the end and kind of tucking it in so that it kind of keeps that secure. This was a buck, well worth it, I think, because yarn balls are a thing over there. Now, there are other things. I also went to Walgreens and they had some clearance because of Christmas. And I don't know why these were on clearance because of Christmas, but I'll take them anyway. Look, look at these pencils. Can you see the unicorns and the rainbows? Look at the pink ones. Yes, they're just like number two pencils, but they're cute and they're pretty. And I have a pencil sharpener, so, you know. Speaking of pencil sharpener, I bought batteries to power up my pencil sharpener because I've got a little power one that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, other things that I got at Walgreens Guys, this is like two bucks. It's super cute. It's a Hershey Kisses Merry Christmas Advent. And yeah, there's 25 in here. I don't know. It'll be fun to take it through January because who doesn't love 
chocolate even in January. I don't care if it shows Christmas stuff. Do you see what I have up? I still have fall stuff up, y'all. Seasons mean nothing to me, okay? So, what else did I get? I had picked this up at Ollie's a while ago. It's in my pile there because I'm going to put this up. And I might even... Look at those pretty colors. I mean, yeah, the pictures are beautiful. So that was in here for a reason. Oh, something else that I picked up. And I think I showed this last week. This came from Pop Shelf. Small steps every day with a very adorable sloth. Oh, where did it go? Ah, oh. oh my God. Who can resist a little teeny tiny bow? Am I right? They're darling. It ended up being 50 cents because, yeah, and they self-stick and they're just cute. What do I need them for? Who knows? Who knows? Sometimes when it's cute, you just have to have it. Um, got this at Walgreens as well. I know it's totally not yarn related, but it's a wet and wild eyeliner pencil. Um, not eyeliner, sorry, eyebrow pencil. And these are a dupe for the Anastasia brow pencils, the really thin line ones. And they're way cheaper, way cheaper, okay? Something else that I got at Walgreens. If y'all know, Walgreens, and for those of you out of the country you may not realize, Walgreens is like a drugstore um, here, and they sell all kinds of stuff. Their store brand is called Nice. Nice Mini Chocolate Hazelnut Truffles. So basically they're Ferro Rocher's, only not little case they come in they're only in here so far because I wanted to film this video first they will get busted open they will get used I promise and by used I mean you know eaten also got some more nail polish which I need to paint my nails these were on clearance one thing about going shopping at Walgreens look for their orange tags I often go orange tag shopping at Walgreens sometimes you'll find something that was originally 10 or 15 dollars for a buck if you get there soon enough and somebody else doesn't buy it first because I'm not the only one who goes orange tag shopping at Walgreens. I can guarantee you that. I uh, went to Walmart as well and in their Christmas stuff, every year around Christmas time, they put up spin brush um, powered toothbrush things for five bucks. And since they're in the holiday stuff, they get marked down 50%. So it's two fifty for each one. The one that I have from two years ago is still just flipping dandy. However, I got one for somebody else and I got some refills and I have an extra one for me just in case mine dies. Now, I usually just, you know, change the batteries in them, but eventually it's going to wear out. I've been using it for a long time and I, you know, I change the heads on them. So you get two in here for $2.50 and they last a good long while, even when you brush your teeth as obsessively as I do. Also, at Walmart, y'all know I have a crayon problem, right? Colors of Kindness crayons. I had not seen these. This was the only box there. The rest of them were gone. And it says that there are four new colors in here as well. Hello, Sunshine. Cray Yellow. Okay, Peace of Mind, which they're saying is Cool Mint, Sky's the Limit, which is Powder Blue, and A Warm Hug, which is Oatmeal. I'm not sure why Oatmeal is a warm hug, but okay, y'all know I have a crayon problem, a Crayola problem specifically, but I got a new kind, a new kind. Ah! Okay, yes, that made me very happy. Oh, one more thing that I got at Walgreens before I go into the Happy Mail. This was a Walgreens exclusive. Now, this one was a Walmart exclusive. Little Funko Pop ornament with the Mandalorian and a Grogu, little baby Grogu in there. Okay. This one is a Walgreens exclusive. Look at this. Isn't that so stinking adorable? So, yes, I had to have it, and I got it, and since it was Christmas stuff, it was half price, half price. So, yeah, that is super cute, because I absolutely adore the Bibi Yoda, the Grogu, okay? Now, for 
Happy Meal stuff. I did get my, this is my January box for Civ Spy for uh, Time for Tea, which is on Mondays. And I don't know when I'll get to it, but it will be soon. I will open it up and see what's in there. But I did get, look at this, look at this. From Miss Roseanne, Roseanne Sawyer. She sent me a very sweet card. It is a postcard. That's a Christmas one, right? Isn't that cute? By the way, if you want to swap postcards with me, it doesn't have to be Christmas, it doesn't have to be anything in particular. Um, just look down in my description box and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do, which is super easy. So just do that and I'll be happy to swap postcards with you because it is so much fun to do so. Now, I have got a piece of letterage, letterage, cartage, something edge from Oklahoma. And I knew who it was from as soon as I saw it was from Oklahoma. This is a card from my sweet friend, Ashley. Stitching ain't easy. Look at the glitter, y'all. Can you see that glitter? I mean, besides all the glare from in here, the glitter, the glitter, the snowman, the happy little house with the tree. And the card itself says, May the blessings of Christmas bring you peace and joy this holiday season. Um, love and blessings, Ashley and family. And I appreciate this so much. That is so sweet. Thank you, Ashley, for sending this. And um, I hope everybody has had a wonderful holiday season. My last week of holidays has been crazy because Lisa's been doing her lives. And so I've been watching a lot of lives and not keeping up with videos. And I'm behind on watching all y'all's videos, okay? Yeah. You'll see me catching up, but I am behind. Just saying. Well, I believe that's the mail. I believe that's the shopping. I am expecting my uh, Lion Brand Santa sack any day now, hopefully. I have placed an order with Joanne because of something I will tell you about tomorrow um, in my vloggy thing. And um, my room is still a hot mess, but that cube area will be changing once my Joanne order comes in. Just saying. Thank y'all for coming by. Appreciate you. I would be glad as well if you would leave me a like. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing so. Leave me a comment as well down below the video. I will see you very soon. Bye, y'all.